Well, howdy, everyone. Welcome back to Caves of Cud, Cudding It Up. Last session saw uh, Tutorial Man Esquire heading into Six Day Stilt, walking around, seeing the sights, finding a Gel Weep Pilgrim, which saved us a bit of cash. Got us some gel, which isn't too bad. Can come in use. Um, afterwards, we delved into the asphalt mines. We fought a bunch of eyeless crabs and fire snouts. We also fought. Um, great magma crabs, along with fire ants. Uh, down there past that asphalt sea is when the good stuff starts appearing. And uh, thanks to freezing hands, well, that was one way to resolve the conflicts that came up. There are, of course, other avenues you can use, but uh, having, having something your enemies are not resistant to at all uh, that bypasses armor value and dodge value definitely helps. I've done inventory management off-camera, I'm in some good fight and trim. Uh, before I head off on adventure, let's show off the Spiral Borer. As you can see here, it's very heavy. Drill pointing downward into a well, standing here outside of uh, the Great Gate Barrow through my Enclave, activating it. And watch as the Spiral Borer starts burrowing a hole in the ground. Alright, and we've got a staircase down into the lower tunnels of Gritgate. A uh, spiral borer makes a staircase for you. Yeah. It has limited uses. It doesn't have that labeled, but I'm pretty sure that's true. So here we are. We have some action. Some segmented worthworms, some park spark takes. Giant set of feet. This is all just trash to us at this point. It's too damn easy. We won't have any trouble, but uh, for funsies, we'll go ahead and wipe things out. Let's cleave through these things. Quite readily. There we go. A painted steel utility knife, you say. Tell me more. Another detail about Mushid the Third. I don't feel like picking up anything to sell. We colored that chest. We'll take those lead slugs for funsies. Do I have... Now let's turn that back on. That's not what I meant to press. There we go. Anyway, I don't intend to clear this out. I just wanted to show off that. He says he walks around killing some stuff. As he was looking for an emergency door. We have the capability to bypass red, yellow, and green security doors now. Thanks to our green card. Ah, uh, what are the orders of the colors? There is red, yellow, green. Um, is it purple that's at the top? I forget the one in the middle, orange? Ugh, blue? Hell if I ever call. Memories, folks. Anyway, there you go. Spiral Borer, hard at work. Let's go ahead and shove this into a chest now. Changelings have come out to defend my stuff, and I really appreciate that. Spiral Borer. There's no need for that. Ah, and actually... We'll put it in this chest. This is my chest of uh, things I will disassemble at some point in time in my life. Presumably, if my character doesn't die, we'll see. That's good fighting, Trim. Only 89 pounds. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Let's get out of here. There's red doors. No, red doors are at the bottom. I, I said that already. Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's go. So, where are we gonna head off to? We spent some time in the asphalt mines. I don't feel like dealing with Bethesda Susa yet. Why don't we explore some of the stuff on the map that's just accumulated over the passage of time? I have an interest in visiting Tagava over there. We obviously have Bela, which uh, is for a quest that was given to us by a pariah. We have these places which I think we discovered on our way up to the Six-Day Stilt. 
And there's a number of distant things as well. You have your oil weep. To the east of this small village, we have a lava weep along with a cider weep and salt weep. Uh, why don't we head for Bela? I don't... I don't know what it is that we're going to encounter there. So let's head there. We'll walk. We might find some other interesting knickknacks, items, some cool stuff. Maybe we won't. Along the way, we'll start picking up this crud. Because we can. You folks in the audience have given me a few ideas, uh, most notably with Carbide Chef. I have an interest in. Hello, Eyeless Crab. Goodbye, Eyeless Crab. <laughs> Been sitting there all this time. No matter. Let's go. Have these droids assisting us. Very kind and courteous of them. My helmet got cracked. Damn it. As I just bumble stumble into enemies. Not a care in the world. <laughs> Way to go, novice. Good work, chum. Terry flower fields. We've uh, briefly poked in here, it seems. Oh, there's a bunch of fresh water. Well, there's some asphalt here, actually. I did see some fresh water, though. There it is. These damn rude exploding bastards, though. Gotta stop that shit. I gotta pick up my loot. My sweet, sweet fresh water. You know, some tarry bones. Two-headed boar trying to get in our way. There is no time. Hmm. Well, hello there, evil tutorial man. How's it going, my friend? Got some interesting action happening over here. We have a juice sap. Along with a nice frog, a tarred bat, more drams of fresh water, some dilute asphalt. We'll just leave that be. We'll take damage as we go. There's some witch wood over there. We don't have to care. No concerns, not a single one in the world. As we leave, folks are chasing us. Or you don't want to have anything to do with this man. What are you doing? What are you even thinking? Crazy boar. Evil tutorial man hot in our heels. Ready to punish us. Because damn it, we deserve it. It's a critical hit off. We're not concerned. I'm not even going to sprint. It's all small damage. Chump change. There's a bunch of tree cover. We'll just utilize that to our advantage and keep moving. Get some witchwood bark along the way. Why don't we make things interesting? I don't really need the hit points. I haven't taken that much damage. Let's eat it. Alright, we handled that pretty well. We'll get some more. Along with a star apple. We're special. All right, seems like the coast is clear behind us. I don't have to try so damn hard now. That's good. I was hoping to run into some interesting things, but uh, but no luck. We got a bunch of weight thanks to that fresh water that we're carrying. That's not a big deal though. I left with 69 drams of water. That was more than necessary. Oh, hold on. Urk. Hello, Yurt Warden. Crushed. Let's unload that. How many skill points do I have? You know, you know, 47. As one does. I level up, I might pick up disassemble so I can start ripping these desert rifles, these 15 pound rifles apart. We're quite a ways away from that, though. 
Oh, I'm hungry. Let's uh fix up some vine wafer and star apple. Have that burnt capacitor. Oh good, whenever I use a salver Uber Nostrum injector, I don't thirst for the next 12 hours. I'll keep that in mind. What a very useful benefit. Engraved steel vine reaper. Learning uh, about another sultan. I've enjoyed seeing this entire story of the Sultan at Unravel. It's been pretty entertaining. Hello, shoot crabs. How's it going, shoot crabs? This place is miserable. Oil there, though. And here I just... stashed that water skin that had the drama oil in it. Well, I'll have something to transfer that to. I can shoot crabs. Not even worth anything, just a waste of my time. What's going on over there? It's a weird artifact. I don't recognize that. Almost looks like a mine or a grenade of some... I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, gee, it looks like a mine, doesn't it? Let's, let's fucking run right over it. Ah, uh, don't try that at home, kids. That was pretty dumb. Let's not talk about that, okay? Never share stories about that. A Hendren villager. I'm gonna have a conversation with the villager. I'm not gonna bother picking up all that water, Vi. Hello. Live and drink, dot dot dot. Live and drink. Well, that looks like a mine walks over it. What the? I can't believe it. It went off. Amazing. Yeah, so I don't know what's up here. This is... This is uncharted territory for me. Cause no trouble here. Cause no trouble. Of course. Live and drink, little one. Live and drink. I'm very kind and polite. What we have here? A bulging water skin. This water skin is filled to the brim and sealed with wax as if from emergent stores. It almost seems kind of like a trap for it to be sitting out there, but there you go. Okay. Used injector. Hmm. Hindriarch. Damn people in their hinds. Gold nugget. Grand Doe. So, why the hell am I supposed to be here? Investigate the problems. Very good. A sturdy, weird artifact. I see. Hello. Live and drink. Sure. So an exile took a treasure of the village, and no one can leave to go fetch that. I could see this being a problem, or you're depending on the, the kindness of others. Alright, sure. Hmm. 
as you say. All right. These names. What's up? Who are you? Vector. Okay. No questions. Good talk. Hey, at least we got the answer. It was all kind and polite. There's the warden. Adapted suit of plate armor. Mmm. Weird artifact, weird artifact. I see, very good. I like weird artifacts. I like prizes. I love treasure. A vine waver sheep. Sheep of dried law petals. Warden? Uh, the Hindriarch. Sounds better than Hendriarch, so that's what I'm gonna say. Told me that you were once friends with this person. Uh... You know where this person and their siblings may have gone? Figure that's easier to ask than whether the Grand Doe would be lying. Okay. Cool. I probably should have paid better attention to that. <laughs> I have, uh... Hmm. For whatever reason, I assume that I played a game which, you know, would have charted these things down, and that's really dumb. I'll have to, uh... Oh, hey. Follow the road north uh, to find the hollow tree. Thank you. Wait, I'm gonna have to look back at the video. The footage. Rectic vision. Hello. His brilliance is wasted here. Something strange is afoot at the Circle K. You are forbidden from investigating. Cause no trouble. Alt. Glory door, Stutzka. Foodstuffs. Is a hind not a hind? Fine weave tunic. Some icy vapor of your own. Nice. Live and drink, lovely friend. What you got? Food, including an herbary. I don't really need any of that. I have all I need, live and drink. Ooh. Just harvesting a little bit for them, taking good care of them, as one does. I won't take the whole of it, though. I'm a nice guy. A road north, you say? Well, I can do that. I'm good at following directions. Wink, wink. Take some of those lob petals. We'll take a weird artifact. We'll take another weird artifact. Sure, give me them grenades. Resonance grenade. Thermal grenade mark three. Hmm. Hello, doggy. Uh, <laughs> it's not it's not what I wanted to read. It's not what I wanted to read. <sighs> There's a deep pain in my soul now. Very deep pain. I am very much brooding. This place is slimy, and it has fungus, and I can't fucking see. High explosive miner. Get out of my face, Jed Lord. A 
will deal with that enemy quite handily. There's some oil there. Nice. Why am I bothered to collect this damn oil? I know where plenty of oil is. First level of the asphalt mines is where I put it. I'm a fool. Speaking of being a fool... Boy, walking through this scum grass does not make me feel good. Why did it have to be fungus patches? You know, I've gone entire runs without dealing with fungus before. Those have been good times. Hello, Kindness Puma. Goodbye, Kindness Puma. Thanks for playing. Send me a burr? Alright, burr. Very good. You did well. I like the part where you die. That was a good part. I'll tell that story to my friends. Hello. Road has ended. Had a tree. It's right in front of me. We have some walls around here, some charred wood. Baptism by Skyfire. Hmm. I like it, that's a cool description. What do we have here? A crumpled sheet of paper. It's illuminated. What does it say? When I can feel my walls are closing in and spitting anger boils up in my blood. When Hendriarch says all I do is sin, and hardened heart despises all of God. But then your sparring axe blade parts the air, and so my heart ascends the spindle's height. So as you run your fingers through your hair, that's when I know that everything's alright. What need have we for putting safety first? Our parents will not see that life needs love. What do we gain from planning for the worst? Our village shall not ever be enough. Now knowing I must go, and you must stay. It makes my tender heartstrings start to fray. What could it mean? Thank you, Dor. These in-game sound effects. Some of you enjoy them. Yeah. <laughs> 